Welcome to the Treasure Coast, Florida. We're here now in Jensen Beach. This is where we're staying. It's a really cool, sleepy fishing town in Martin County. I lived here for three years on and off, just kind of working in uh, restaurants down here just because Charleston kind of shuts down a little. It used to shut down a lot more than it does now. Now that we're on the tourist, you know, number two city to live in in America, it's a lot better. But um, we used to really get slow January and February and even parts of December. So graduated college in 2015 and started coming down here and met uh, one of my good friends now, RJ, and he gave me a room and <clears throat> we became pretty good friends and just basically skimmed uh, like every day we could and then worked during the night and and sick. I mean, you have nothing to do. Not bothered by anyone. You don't know anyone down here, but ended up making a lot of good friends and fishing a lot and enjoying a lot of good weather um, just around this this beautiful little place. It's not like a crazy amount of money down here. Uh, it's definitely like a town that's owned by snowbirds, but in January and February, I mean, just the Mercedes and Lambos and stuff, they all come down from New York and they just load this place with money. So it's it's pretty crazy how like the influx of revenue this place gets from like January to April. It's nuts. Because other than that, it's just like, I mean, and this is not anything derogatory against the Treasure Coast, but it is just like a sleepy little town so much that you almost would think it's like Puerto Rico. Like when I'm here, like, when we were driving around, Katie was like, I almost feel like we're in Puerto Rico. I was like, you're not like far off. I mean, Puerto Rico is not a shithole. There's still like nice marinas and really nice, just freaking tropical weather and plants all over the place. But it's just a small town. Like you can't build higher than two stories and uh, until you're on the beach and then there's just giant, stupid condos and all that crap. So I'm gonna get out there, I'm gonna go to the spot now and wade. Uh, the water's still warm. Mind you, it's February what, 16th, two days after Valentine's Day, and it's warm. It was 93 yesterday at the beach. We were roasting. I mean, almost like too much. But it's nice to feel, because I've definitely been moody with the cold weather in Charleston. Granted, not that cold, but still. It's been tough to fish there. I know it's like, I still love getting out there, still been catching like some good trout and like a good red every now and then, but I really haven't keyed in on a school that I'm like interested in, interested in because I know where a lot of schools are. It's just like the work to get out there and then the finickiness of the fish, it's just like annoying. So it just always kind of slows down for me during these times. This is definitely what I came out here for, just like sand wave, but conditions definitely not the best for sight casting. I'm, I'm looking like in some of these mangroves. They're like stuff pushing up, it's low tide going high, so. <clears throat> Snook just literally came out of the mangroves, two of them. Walking the other way, saw a bunch of, saw like three snook that were like tucked up under the mangroves. So, just like making an effort to blind cast a little bit all around these mangroves. Basically, like bass.
me to count in my first note and it starts raining like crazy. I keep seeing them like go along the edge of the mangroves. This is just like real like spurty rain, so I'm just gonna like chill for a second. <sighs> it's a good fish. It's a good size fish too, it's like not a small fish. That sucks. The first snow that I actually get the sight pass starts literally like freaking down pouring on me. Oh, whatever. I love this area. Definitely got me back. Um, this is really where I started. Uh, so yeah, other than that, um, it's been pretty tough to see, but he kept on like coming out of the mangroves and then I'm like, see my fly and then my shit. Ooh. This. So spotty. I don't know what you think. Next morning. <clears throat> All right, back out for one last wave for heading back to Charleston. I've seen I don't know, probably five or six snook. One of them over 30 inches, really, really skinny. Um, kind of have an idea of like where I'm looking for along the mangroves, and kind of on this little flat. Uh, Line. I guess it's a bank, but super clear, clean water. Just kind of patrolling the mangroves, just like I've, I've heard. I just didn't know it was going to be exactly like that. Anyway, um, hopefully, you see something. If not, I'm, I'll be back and just want to figure this place out. And, so nice just being out here. So freaking nice. Just then, by sheer coincidence. Hey guys, back again. I have a snook on right now. And it's not a bad fish. <laughs> he was just cruising the mangroves and I just cast it in front of him and watched him eat it. So cool. Wow. Not a bad fish.
crazy. Whoa, yeah, that's insane. Like the eat on that thing was insane. God, he just spit the hook, got off, and um, I just caught him in the water. Holy shit. No way. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's my first nook on fly. <laughs> Jeez, that's a good fish. cruising along these mangroves and uh, just like put a fly in front of him and just watch him like destroy it and I'm, I, I don't think it was on record but like you guys get the gist look at this crystal clear paradise We're about to leave back to Charleston back to the, the cold so super nice to bag one before that but sweet old lady up there got some pictures of me so that would be sweet to, sweet to look at but I just saw another one too and, he just turned it down because I think I was just like just twitching it a little radically but it's crazy the conditions are really good it's just like crystal clear like I feel like I'm on a bonefish flat <laughs> but I'm gonna walk back I, I, I gotta go so um, I'm gonna just see if we see anything on the way back and yeah go from there I'll, I'll do a little closing on the way home okay all right I'm wrapping up I've, I've seen a couple more snook but I really don't have time, Katie's gonna kill me like it is. But, um, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I know I didn't get the actual eat on camera, but it sucks when you're trying to focus and trying to figure these fish out. So, when they're creeping like that, I gotta, I mean, anyone, you, you gotta like focus just on the fish. It's like an intense, like, standoff. So. That's why it's nice to not have to worry about a paddleboard or anything, just wade and see what happens. But like, what a cool fish it is. What a badass fish it is. It's crazy. trip geez all i wanted was one it makes me think of hawaii when i was like trying so hard with the bonefish and then uh destin on the golf coast when i was trying so hard for uh like a snow white redfish off the beach just like so nice to like come through with one of these new species and that was my first snook on fly and uh yeah what a great tropical day in february to uh 
to get that going, but I'm gonna head back right now. We're about to head back to Charleston, so I literally last minute of that fish. Thank God Katie let me go. Let's <laughs> Otherwise, I would have been just waiting until next time because we definitely will be back. I mean, I lived here for three years, did not do much fishing, was definitely preoccupied with surfing and skimboarding and um, didn't really have a fire for fishing. But man, like to come down here, any part of Florida in the dead of winter and just be able to wade in, in basically like nothing. I have these little Sims oyster boots for the sand that you could wade in anything. And just to see fish cruising along the mangroves and just put flies in front of them that work for redfish, like same thing. My battle shrimp fly did not work and I think it's because it's just too pink. Like it's more like an attention getter for the for the uh, murky Charleston water, but I tied on a marshmallow that Zach from uh, Southern Style Flies tied a long time ago for me when I was like, just wanting some really finesse flies for like clear water in the winter and it like worked so well. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Sick. I'll definitely be back. If you like uh, clear water content, definitely let me know in the comments below if you want to see more like destination stuff because definitely fun and cheap. Or just cheap if you ever want to get down here. Like it's great. But yeah, subscribe if you want more. See you next time. Thanks, guys.